Yo, welcome to video number 43. This video is on expanding brackets. Now, um, keywords here are expanding and identity. Uh, when you are expanding brackets, you are multiplying the brackets out of the expression. Um, and that's what expanding means. Doesn't mean just making it larger. It means multiplying out of some brackets. And um, identity is stronger than an equals symbol. Uh, and it means that you're writing one expression uh, that's it's just in a different way to what the original expression was. Okay, so it means exactly the same thing as the other expression, just written differently algebraically in the world of algebra. So the method states to expand brackets, you need to multiply the term on the outside of the brackets by the terms on the inside. And then this will give you an expression that's an identity to the original expression. Um, so I'm going to use the identity symbol here in the first question. It's just three lines. Okay, so an equal symbol would be two lines. The identity symbol is three lines. So we are stating that we are writing an expression um, for this uh, after this symbol here that's exactly the same as this. It's just another way of writing it. Okay, so we're going to multiply the 2 by the x to get our first term, 2x. And then the 2, because it's on the outside, multiplies by this plus 5, the positive 5, and that gives you 10. 2 times 5 is 10. So that's pretty simple. There's our first question answered. Uh, we do the same thing in B. Take the 10, multiply by the 2x. So we've got 2x this time. That's okay. We just do 10 multiplied by 2x's is 20x's. Okay, and then the 10 multiplied by the 4 is 40. So everything's positive and not too much of a problem so far. I would hope. Now, C, we've got 3 multiplied by 5x's. So identity 2, 15x because 3 times 5 is 15, and then 3 multiplies by minus 8 to give you minus 40, no, 24. I don't know what I was doing there, I was doing the 5, wasn't I? So 3 multiplied by uh, an 8 is 24, and we've got the negative symbol in there, so it's a minus 24, all right? If you don't understand what I'm talking about, when you're multiplying positives by negatives, watch the uh, multiplying uh, negative numbers video that I made in the numbers section. So there's our answer to that one, 15x minus 24, okay? Now, moving on to question 2. We've got some trickier ones because we've got the negatives on the outside. More negatives makes things more complicated mathematically or just more harder to do in your head. All right. If you've got a calculator, it's not a problem. It does the job for you. As long as you put your negative numbers in brackets. I said it in a different video. I'll say it in this one. So uh, expanding this, you've got a negative number on the outside. That's just representing a negative 1. Okay. Now that's a minus or a negative multiplied by 4x, which would just give you minus 4x. And then a negative multiplied by a positive would give you a minus 19. So what you could think of here is that the only thing that that's really doing is just changing the symbol in front of any term that's in it. OK, if that was negative, it would go negative times negative, which would make it positive on the outside. But it hasn't. All right. So minus 4x minus 19. Now we could write that as minus 19 minus 4x if we wanted to. It wouldn't really matter. Um, we haven't changed anything in that expression. We're just writing it however we want to write it. Now, B, we've got minus 5 multiplied by minus 10. Now, when you've got two negatives, you multiply the two negatives together and you get a positive. So that is 50. All right, and I'll use the identity symbol again on these. So that's 50, that bit, if you do that bit times that bit. And then you've got this bit multiplied by this bit. So the outside multiplied by the second term that's inside the bracket. So negative times negative again is going to be positive. So 5 times by 3 is 15. And then we've got the X on this one, so we've got to pop the X on the end there. OK, now I could write this one the other way around because I like to put the positive uh, term first or, or the X term first. Sorry. So 15 X plus 50. All right. Um, and like I said, it doesn't matter if you didn't write it that way around. Um, and then you've got this last one. So a little bit trickier. And this is where I'd made mis my mistake before. And I'll tell you when I made the mistake at the end. So I've got mi uh, minus or a negative uh, multiplied by a um, positive. So I've got minus 12 multiplied by a positive 3. That's going to be minus 36. And then I've got an x times an x, and that gives me x squared. If you're not sure why, again, watch the multiplying terms video. You've got a negative 12 again on the outside, negative 12x multiplied by a negative. It's going to be a positive. 7 times 12 is 84. And then there's this x here on the outside, so there's got to be an x on this term here. All right, and I forgot to pop that in because I started waffling on about something else. All right, so uh, I'm going to put the minus 36x squared plus 84x as the answer to that question. 
Okay, um, sliding on over to the other side of the screen, let's just look at the third question, A and B. And this is just a combination of two of the multiplying out brackets stuck together. So we're expanding and simplifying here. Okay, so we've got this bit, which we will take and we will do 5x, 5 multiplied by x plus 40. Okay, simple, 5 times by x, 5 times by 8. And then we've got this bit here, which you have to include that symbol in front of the 6 for. So 6 multiplied by x, so that's going to be plus 6x. And then a 6 multiplied by a negative, a 4 is a minus 24. Okay, now we can look at uh, collecting our like terms. So again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about there, watch the collecting like terms video, simplifying an algebraic expression. You've got 5x plus 6x. I'm just going to write my answer here 11 x is what we get and then we've got 40 which is a number term take away 24 uh, so if you took away 20 you get to 20 and if you go another 4 you get to 16 so we've got plus 16 it's a positive 16 so that's what you stick on the end there all right hope that makes sense it looks a little bit more complicated it's lots it looks like there's loads more to do but actually it's the same thing twice and then collect it if you can now this one uh, i made deliberately really difficult let's see if i can get it right straight away. We've got minus uh, or negative multiplied by positive, so that's going to give you a minus straight away. 20, and then x times x is x squared. If you do it systematically and pay attention to what you're doing, you won't make mistakes. Negative times negative, you're going to get positive. Okay, 5 times by 10 is 50, and then there's an x on the outside there, so we've got the x on that bit. So that, was, that bit is the bit that we did there, and got in the blue underneath it. That's a little bit tricky. This bit's a bit easier. So we've got this bit here we're going to do negative 4x and then a negative 4 multiplied by a positive 3 is a negative 12. Okay, now collect everything that we can. The only thing that we can actually can collect these x terms here in the middle. All right, everything else is not part of the same family. So we've got minus 20x squared. 50 take away 4 is plus 46x and then the minus 12. OK, so I hope all of that makes sense. I know I've got to some quite difficult stuff at the end there, uh, but this is in the, in the realms of grade three maths. Um, you need to do a little, little bit more in order to get to all the stuff that you need to understand in order to pass, but not too much more. All right. Um, if you're watching all the videos in the hope that you are going to scrape past that grade four boundary, uh, I would recommend watching all of the grade one, two, three, four stuff and definitely some of the five. Um, and yes, yeah, see, see what you can see what you can get. If you're looking to, and you're doing higher maths and, and you want to get as high a grade as you possibly can recommend watching it all of it. I mean, you don't have to start at the grade one, two, three stuff, uh, but it would be a good idea because it's all kind of assumed that you understand everything in that already. And you might just have missed a few things. I mean, it's, it's so broad. It's so wide. It's so, it's so deep as well in understanding maths. Now, um, it'd be worth your while watching everything. So. Please uh, like and subscribe if you can do. Yes, I'm wearing my glasses in this video because uh, where I work, the kids keep asking, so where are your glasses? All right, these are my old glasses. These are the ones I keep at home. So these are the ones that I am wearing in this video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.